Hi there, and welcome to the QImage Ultimate video on file search terms. In 2022.117 and higher, we have a new function under the search tools that allows us to search for parameters in photo headers. Here we have the search button, the binoculars, and that's typically used for database information like description or creator that you might enter here on a folder or might enter here on individual images. And when you enter database information here, it's searchable through this search tool in the binocular. So let me click on that. When that opens, you get the general searching tool here that allows you to search the database and search for files and keywords and things like that. This general search here is covered in another video that is accessible by this little red V button here. But what we're interested in today are the new file search terms, and that can be found here. There's a little helper here that allows you to add certain um, file search terms in the term list here. So let's open that by clicking on this button. And you can see the little helper here, and I'll move this up like this above the search terms. What this does is it allows you to do a file search, searching by date shot, camera lens, camera model, orientation, raw, and the parameters that you see here. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly do one of these searches to show you. I'll set the year to 2015, and I don't care about month or day, so I'm not going to check these. I only care about year. And then I'll click the Add button to add this search term. So when I click Add, you can see the search term appears here on the window behind it. So this is helping you create this search term. It says date equals 2015, any month, any day. So for my camera model, I'm interested in my Canon 50D shot. So I'm just going to enter 50D. Case doesn't matter. So I'll just enter 50D here and click Add on that. And the lens that I'm interested in is the 100 to 300 lens. So I'll enter 100 to 300 in the lens and click Add on that. And when we close this, you can see that the search terms that were added are date is 2015, don't care about month or day, and, because that's your search operator here, model equals 50D, and lens equals 100 to 300. So it'll return all of the results that match those criteria. And you'll notice over here that the database searches of information you entered in the QImage database, they're all grayed out, because these are file search terms. And they're, they're really helpful if you want to try to find files in a certain year or a certain camera model and so on. So let's click on this file slash folder search because that's what we do here in this case. I'll click on that and you can see that I have some folders already added here. If you've never set this up before, you're going to want to add a folder and add a preferred location. I have a bunch of locations here that I typically search, but in this case, I know I want to just search in my two camera folders. Uh, there's one on C and one on the G drive. So I can just check the ones that I want and then click on search selected location. So that's going to click on the ones that are checked here. When I click on that, it'll do a search, tell you how many are found down here in this lower bar. Uh, you can see the bar progressing there and we're done. I'm just going to close this now because I don't need the tool anymore. And here are your search results. It found 31 photos. And if I hold my mouse over one of these, and either right click and do display image info or press the shortcut, which is control I, it'll bring up the information for that. So let me hit control I on the keyboard and you can see the image information over here. And you'll notice after I move my thumbnail, uh, move my mouse cursor over these thumbnails, you'll see that the date changes, but I have all 50D and all 100 to 300. The date may be a little different on each of them, but my search criteria is matched for each one of these. Um, now let me quickly show you another feature that's available in this tool. We'll go back into the binoculars here, click on the new file search terms. The helper comes back up. It remembers what you entered in there the last time for the current session. So it remembered everything. If I put the date in here, Again, all I got to do is click Add, 
again, I'll move this up so you can see the terms as it's adding in them in the background here. Click add on here again. So now I've got 2015 date model is 50D. But this time, this 100 to 300 lens, maybe I want to see everything that I shot that wasn't my 100 to 300, everything else. And you can do that by holding the shift key. When you hold the shift key, watch this button here. Now it says add. If I hold the shift key and move my mouse over it, it says not. I keep holding the shift key while I click that, and it'll do not lens equals 100 to 300. So close this again. And now what I'm going to get is all of the images that satisfy the date is 2015 and the model equals 50D and not the 100 to 300 lens. So let's go here again, click on search selected locations. So it's searching the same spots as it did before. And all of these images that were there before are not going to be there. And it's going to be a new group based on the new search because we know none of these are the 100 to 300 lens. We said not 100 to 300. So control I, uh, there's a 28 to 135 lens, a 70 to 300. Uh, so all of these, there's a 17 to 40. All of these are going to be not my 100 to 300 lens. So you get the idea. That's how to use the new tool here. And again, it's just the binoculars. And you click on the new button here because you're, you're really adding terms here. So it's to the right of the add button, but you're adding special terms. So when you click that, a little helper comes up. And the video that you're watching now is on, on this little V, this uh, help video. So you can do a lot of things here. Um, you can look at only the portrait shots that you took. Uh, you can look at only RAWs. And again, if you hold the shift key, you can do the opposite of these. Um, so any combination here that you can think of, uh, you can search for your photo shot on your birthday if you want to just do, uh, let's say your birthday was today. This happens to be shot on, the, on January 29th. Just check these two. And when you add, it says date equals any year, January 29th. So you're going to find January 29th in any year. So it's a really powerful tool, and it allows you to search through files. Uh, one thing that I will mention is when you go in here and you do this search, if you have a lot of photos in these locations, let's say I checked all of these, there's going to be, I know if I check this, it's going to be about 50,000 photos. So when I click on this location here, um, I might as well go ahead and do it just to show you in the video. When I click here, it found 50,841 files. And you can see it's still going pretty fast. It may go slower. It will go slower the first time you do the search, and it'll be faster after that. But it's searching through every file looking at the file headers. So it may take a few minutes. But notice if you get into something here and it's too long and you want to go back and uncheck one of these to do a shorter search, just press the escape key.